Okay, welcome back. Alrighty, let's fire this back up. This is my first time actually doing a restream broadcast. So I thought so you might be seeing this thing on Twitch or Smashcast. I am actually my name is Theridian. I I've been I've been doing this uh, let's play for a couple of uh, it's about three times now. I have all my videos on YouTube. So if this doesn't wind up on Twitch or anything as a save video, I apologize. I'm not used to using Twitch actually. But anyway, let's get down to business here. Okay, we last left off. We're heading to Apollo's world. Uh, Apollo's world, chapter four, or well, world four, technically. So, and let me just grab somebody here. All right, there we go. All right, so we're heading to. Oh, I'm sorry, that was actually Apollo's, the Apollo's World One. All right, I'm hoping my voice isn't coming in too quiet. The volume just a little bit. There we go. All right. Might need a quick refresher of what's in my inventory since it's been a few days. Uh, let's see. Uh, not the best stuff in the world, but not, you know, not too bad. Alrighty, move it on. Now, if you're a first time uh, watcher of this, I am not going to be doing lots of farming. I'm going to try to keep moving as much as possible. If a battle gets really too slow, I throw on. Fa uh, fast speed or hyper speed just to make sure it doesn't get too ridiculous Death Slash on a robot that can't use it. I don't know, I don't know how powerful it is. I think it, I guess one it was based off of uh, magic, but no, it's strength based. Sorry if I'm muttering. Circle Change isn't too, too bad of an ability to inherit. It's kind of like Circle Weapon. But instead of... Oh, it's actually like a Circle Weapon Plus. I actually never... I wasn't actually too sure about the difference between the two of them. So, Circle Body is for... Or Circle Change is pretty much just Weapon Plus. So, good to know. Sure, the stream looks good. All right. Excuse me. I usually go in order for th this one. There's there are three dungeons on this one, and I usually go in order of north, south, and east. I'm not sure why. I just have always done it like that. I think one time I actually went out of order and went to the north one last. I mean, also the the uh, the leader of this world named Apollo, because it's Apollo's world technically. He has a magi or not a magi a relic. Magi is the Final Fantasy Legend 2 name of the relics. They're just talking things here. There's not too much of, of interest other than that. Oh, 
mouse out of the way. Good evening. Or if this is one of those ones that's a different one based on, yeah, lay of opposition. Yeah, it's but this one looks like it's based upon, yeah, draw the power with reds and moray. So prob, uh, so I probably have to go bring that over to one of the goddesses. Or not the goddesses, the uh, the fates. But first, let's go ahead and clean up the uh, excavation points. Magic power circuit. That's the, a couple of videos ago, I had mentioned the magic power circuit was one of the things they added to the game to let robots cast magic. I don't really agree with it because it's not I don't find it's enough of how of a power boost to really matter but let me since it's since I I said that I've also said lots of other strange things that were incorrect let's take let me take a look yeah 16 that's well, why does he have eight for this is another question oh it gives him plus eight I'm not sure exactly how good that is but I don't think it's too high. Why does he have any at all, actually, is a good question. Because none, none of his default equipment is giving... Is giving it. Unless Green Dragon Light is. No, it's not. No, I guess it's just one of those things. Oh, wait, I know it's giving him eight. I, I, actually, I equipped him with a Fire Relic so he could take the Blast of Ashura. That's right, I didn't change it off of him. Okay, thanks, thanks, guys. They were checking the sound for me, make sure I was okay. All right, so let's let's head to the north and go to the cave under the under the ground that has the wind blowing through it. It's, it's called Dunatus's Cave, so we'll first stop by the town and pick up stuff. If I never correctly, the dungeons aren't too too long here. Although one of the side quests does let you go back through the dungeons again. I think at least the one for at least the Dunantis Cave. If it, if I do that, I'll just rush it. I won't I won't hit, uh, farm enemies or anything. Silver Belt Choker. That's one of the god. That's one of the, the Muse gifts. Drop by the other, the other house here that's not listed as a a, a shop of some sort. Lynn is very cute. It's just she's not very useful because she's she's kung fu. But the thing about the kung fu in this game is you actually have to build up the attack power by using it in battle. And unfortunately, you don't get Lin as a second as a member of your party for very long, long enough before it to really matter. But, so, and just I'm gonna hang on to that actually instead of destroying it.
I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop by at the end. I'm gonna drop off all that stuff I got left over before I go ahead and oh, that's, the, that's the bar. Before I before I go ahead and shop. It's not gonna be used again. I don't know. I don't know why they don't just put the become small slash the micron as a as a um, event item. I mean, they they could have done that at least. Because you really don't need it after you get out of Kai's body. So okay, I think that's all right. Of course, the one thing I, I usually do is I usually get a chainsaw just because the chainsaw looks freaking badass in this game. Yeah, you see. Oh, there she is. That's the other muse I wanted to listen to. We finally have Arado. So now we're just missing. I th I know there's one that's a baby. I have no idea why it's a baby. I forget the other one. I think there's no I think there's another one also. Saw. Hmm. Eh, I can always get the chainsaw later. So once I have it, um, everything's pretty good right now for me. Yeah, I don't want to change anything out at the moment. Yeah, yeah that's okay. I'm pretty sure I'll get more stuff on the way. And let me check anything for armor. Nope, we're good here. Oh, right, let me make sure. Yeah, I got that flower fan now. Uh, should be all right. Yeah, I got enough. I got enough space for a dungeon run. And the one thing about this cave is it's in the in the in the Game Boy version it was a little bit easier to understand because this in the in this version it's rather complicated looking. Well, first I'm gonna go in the front door. Because it's, well, it looks like the way to go. It's actually a dead end, but there is at least a treasure in here. I believe it's a, I believe if I remember correctly, it's the, it's a Hermes sandals. And I, I am correct. I'm not really in that dire need of strength for my main character, so. Thank you. 
Yeah. Oh, sorry that. Uh, alrighty, on the way back out. looking for any other treats that are lying around. Or is that after I finish the dungeon? And it is after. Okay. Worth looking. So we go in the back door now for the cave. and I mean, it's rather obvious that that's where the... That's where the, the true entrance is. Monsters grouped up for nice. Oh, there we go. That's a nice one. Oh, that's a lot of Durin dolls. I hope they're weak to that. I don't remember. All right. Due to the amount of enemies, I'm gonna hit. I'm just gonna fast forward this one a little bit. I'm not doing that one because that, that could actually be kind of dangerous. Yeah, because it could have gone to the moth also. I don't want to waste that one. And at least we're not doing any damage. This is exactly why I keep on saying that the enemies are kind of weird in this game. They'll either do a lot of damage or nothing at all. That's why I generally don't recommend getting uh, choosing any monster classes as you're on your first playthrough on second might. Controller decided to go a little screwy. There we go. I think I'm beginning to believe what they say about the uh, mutants, espers, and the, the mutants, or if you espers, you want to, what you want to call them, and they they do get defense at an easier rate while using shields. That's my second one. I haven't changed her shield, and that's the only shield I ever bought gotten for her. And there we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I'll just take him out. I didn't know they didn't have anything but the paralyzed clear. Hmm. I thought at least they would have had a beam or something. <laughs> yeah, I better just wait to race these guys out. My freaking eye can't do anything.
Hey, there we go. I finally learned a Thunderspell. I'm going to trade that one out for Blizzard for her. Just just because I feel like it. I remember this game being a lot more diff- or this uh, dungeon being a little bit more difficult when you couldn't see more of the map. Oh, darn. Frickin'. Frickin' Frickin' Rose Raven. Stupid eye. Spring Breeze Pendant. I want to say it's Calliope, but I'm not sure. Ah, oh, I forgot about that darn thing. I need to start putting my trap detector on. That thing, thing, the thing I, it, that church just reminded me. I think these are enemies from the next. No, these are enemies from the volcano. As I said, all or nothing will eat with enemies in this game. Yeah, this is gonna be bad. Well, luckily, I did one smart thing. I left that that fire one on him. Although he's not he's not, he's not me in the blizzard. Yep. Now well, back to Odin. Instead of defending, we'll have to... I was kind of hoping to get the meat from the one enemy, but I guess it's not going to be possible now. Yeah, the only ever, the only dangerous ones I know of are any or any enemies that can really cast light uh, spells, and of course the bosses. Yeah, see, there's the frickin' meat. Oh well. All right, let me, put, let me put that detector on while I'm thinking about it.
Oh, forgot to heal my eye, but that's alright. don't know all the true meanings of that of that side from the story changes so I'm just going with however oh I just realized now I don't have prayer chest listed on my map I don't think or do I hmm. I am highly amused by the way the eyeball, the big eye was just sitting down there dead. That was highly amusing to me. Just lying down there like, not, not, like nothing was wrong. <laughs> Rocket punch, I forget that's anywhere near good. I know it's a gun. Yeah, why not? I'll try it out. correctly the they're weak to fire I hope <laughs> through. Okay. Yeah, here, dead, dead, dead giveaway to if a trap is, if a treasure chest is trapped, it'll have a, it'll light up whenever you have your disarmed trap.
to try to use up some of the... Oh, I forgot to attack on the main character. That's alright. Oh, oh, he's paralyzed anyway, it doesn't matter. Surely this one has to change him into- oh, thank god. He'll be able to attack again. Alright, so, undo the trap. Inside is... nothing. So it was literally the trap. I should have probably tried the rocket fist with the combo. I didn't think about that. Let's see what it looks like. Rocket punch becomes turbo pressure. wall is breakable. I shouldn't. But oh well, whatever. Let's do it just for the hell of it. Let me guess. I have to do it from the other side only, huh? Eh, oh well. I'll do it. And I'll, I'll, do, I'll go back to the, I'll go around and do it. Let me just excavate first. Ninto, I believe, is a katana. I'm gonna check and see if there's a treasure over here. And there wasn't. Yeah, just quick, quick, take a look here, something here. Oh, the sun, sun Torch is probably... Oh, and that's right, extends the, the Sun Torch extends the map of the, uh... Um... Inside dungeons, that's what it is. Let's go with... Oh, she already has a cure. And I forgot. And I forgot this whole time she had one. Uh, let's put you back with the Geta. Give her the sandals for a little while. Oh, let's excavate. Alright, now we're at the last part of it. The little waterfall here, then we're gonna meet with Lynn. 
But first, let's go grab some treasure. After I make sure to check for traps. I don't need. No, I don't need to go visit Odin again. Stays the same. And there's Lynn. Absolutely adorable, but not very useful. Eh, let's just give her a, a turn in combat just so she can at least use one of her abilities. Yep, yeah, she gets punches and kicks. Uh, they could have at least given her something more, a little more useful. I mean, they could at least give her the next level of it, of it. and she's already down. I mean, if kick hits down there, you can you can see the damage output it does. It's just it's just it actually it actually has to be sent that way. Eh, that's better than what it was. Okay, let's just go ahead. Ah, uh, Lin, Lin, Lin. Alright, let's go fight Duantis. Who is now a giant mecha. Just making sure. Wait, what does that say? Oh, I thought it said it puts the brain on vacation. <laughs> That's what sleep does. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, he has the death sword. Awesome. I'm betting, I wonder if it's New Game Plus, it's just the enemies are slightly harder. That's what I'm running on right now, New Game Plus. And I'd be alright with that, just because to see something different happen here. Yeah, looks like, uh, so that's, that's something that doesn't usually happen. I mean, it doesn't even give me a number, it just says death. Ease. 
This is a little insane. Would be funny if he's that he actually pulled it off. Oh, okay. Well, back to Odin again. Yeah, they must have increased. They must have increased difficulty because I don't remember him having that many death attacks in the first first run through. Probably just maybe just bad luck. That's all. Hoping he aims for main character again. Whew, thank God. Well, one of these kicks are getting up there, so let's see if it if she can do the damage now. He's got a lot more HP than I remember. He's... Yeah, this is pretty heavy for damage for him. Encounter to learn. Oh, they actually did fix that. I didn't know you could actually get multiple stat ups in one run. In one battle, I mean. Just a random high potion just in the, amidst all the crap. That's strange. Unless the high potion is the medicine that Lynn's mother needed, which would be very weird. And here's the even weirder part. You go back to the house, and the man who looks like your father in there is not in here for some oddball reason. That's it. 
it's just kind of one of those weird things like, you know, hey, where'd he go? No, nobody knows. Oh, I think I know what it is that Dunatis has. I think Dunatis has a chainsaw, if I remember correctly. And they just call it death for some reason in this game. He should at least have the chainsaw. That would look cool. Uh, anywho, let's go ahead and finally get that chainsaw I wanted. The sword. Yeah. Actually, I might get the lightsaber so my robot isn't so slow. Oh, triple lunge. Never mind. So once Lindsay's done with her kick, I'll throw her on triple lunge. I'm probably gonna remove. Eh, I'll leave kick there. I don't need the chainsaw, but the robot already has death sword. Mm. That'll be all right. Let me just head and sell some junk. Then we'll be on to the volcano. I think I have to beat all the areas first before it tells me that there's stuff in the north. I think that's how it goes. Oh, the compass. Let's see. I think that one is the one that lets me find treasure chests. Let's find out real quick here. Yep, treasure. So. I apologize about that. Quests. Let me double check the items real quick. Yeah, it's all right. I think she's a. Pretty sure she's a muse. Is she? Let me see. I think my equipment's still good. Yeah, I'll go ahead and get an upgraded helmet for. Defense is actually good enough where I can switch the armor out with. Yeah, actually, I'll wait on it. I think the main character is still using bronze armor.
and this is one of the bonus battles that they added in. They've let you fight technically the equivalent of this game of Shenlong. Shenlong. Uh, where do you go find them? How's the inventory? Eh, that's enough. Okay, if I remember correctly. I'm not gonna go fight him right now. I'm gonna wait a little bit to fight before I fight him. Because he should be in the southeast here. Yep, there he is. You don't technically have to fight him. It's Shen Long is one of the bonus ones, and he is fairly difficult. He does give a good meat though if you actually do beat him. Oh, that's right. Abilities excavate. that there it is let's say since it's been a while okay and I'll just hit save slot just in case yeah we'll go ahead and just avoid that for the time being I mean, if I ch you can, ch I can choose wherever I, I don't have to fight him. I can actually just ask him to give me an item or something. But it's more fun to fight him. I think he gives some really good shoes. I think if I decide to, if I decide to not fight him, I think I can also ask him for money. But eh, not really worth it to give up a good I a good item and a good ba or a good battle just for some money. No, if it was like a stat increase, yeah, I'd absolutely would, I would. I would probably take that. If it would be like defense for the main character for a human or something, since those are relatively rare. Oh, I actually wandered into that one. Probably should get since I'm not doing anything with that sword. I probably should give it to the robot. I'll keep him with the saber. Oh, oh wait, it's an agility weapon. Hmm, interesting. I'll replace the saber then. Screw it. Now we come to the damage floors. It's not no longer just one space though now, it's actually uh, a little bit of time, so. The mystery disease. I could have sworn that was a plague or something originally. I forget if blind persists through battles or not.
If it does, oh well. He's guarding. Yeah, it does, it pers it does persist. So did I keep some eye drops on me? Or was I, or was I a bonehead? No, I kept gold needles on me. Wonderful. Eh, I'll, I'll manage. Oh, right, let me go ahead and put on the disable trap. I think if he also goes down, he'll, he'll remove his blindness. Alright, so let's so, so we don't make another mistake again, let's go ahead and equip the, the Sarn Trap. And good thing we did. And for our efforts, we get nothing. It's not going a pattern. Oil. That's for. Uh, that's for. Um. Uter. Utere. Yep. I'm just trying to use up some items so I can move along with the uh, the next things. Actually, no, I think about it, though, I only have two people using items, technically, so... And one of them's currently blind, so... Worse than that. Alright. Once again, back to Sarn Trap. Strength Source. Only one person that can really benefit from that. I might equip the. I might ditch the kick. Since it's not really being too helpful. Right, if I have to throw an item away, I'll throw away the kick then. Yoshi. Special blade handling skill. Oh yeah, that's right. I probably stopped. I probably stopped using the rapier on him before it broke. Another empty chest.
probably should give Lindsay another item, but eh, I kind of like her with the speed to choose. Much of a, a death sword, unless it has to be unless it has to be used by a human. that old kick, I think. I can find what the darn thing went to. Eh, 67 uses. That's probably worth some cash. Throw a helmet, giant's armor. Eh, oh well. Just use up some stuff. Oh right, these guys are pretty these guys can be pretty lethal if I'm not careful. Probably should have Tiger use sleep. Okay, that's not so bad. We're being blind, it's not really affecting his accuracy. Can kind of use that tiger too. Oh well. <laughs> oh, there's a healing spot here. Okay, I've start ditching some crap now. They should get rid of Lindsay's last kick. That can equip her the triple lunge on her. Yeah, that was pretty pretty lethal. That the the last the last hit from the from the Taijutsu moves is usually that powerful. I remember the first time I ever I ever saw that when I was playing the Game Boy version with, with I was like the last shot of punch should be doing a lot of damage and I just see holy crap a thousand damage so it didn't look as much of a surprise seeing it this time. Knock out the blindness. 
Oh well. I thought there was a chance that I could do something that had an additional effect. everything in here. Alright, there's our ending area. I truth. We need that in order to enter that one dun dungeon. I truth. Is that enemies? Do a quick check. Yep. Those are enemies. I actually didn't remember that. I don't know why. <laughs> oh well. Let's start work after triple lunge. Funny thing is, that one actually starts powerful, at least a little bit. Now you ask me, why am I not using the psionic gun on her, or I mean, the psionic sword, or or I'm I'm giving her, I give uh, my my Esper slash mutant a Taijutsu one because they don't require stats to attack. It's just the it's just literally the the number of uses left. So they do fairly good damage for a single target. And it raises speed on on chance, so that's that's a pretty much a win-win situation right there. We may have reliable accuracy for for being Taijutsu, so usually though I don't I don't think I've really ever done the later on Taijutsus for, but uh, I might do that for this one just to play something different. Because I usually give people like tanks and Vulcan cannons <laughs> near the end of the game. So I always kind of forget about the, taiju the poor Taijutsu. Because it gets overshadowed by the weapons that can hit groups of enemies. <clears throat> go after Shenlong or wait? Hmm. I'm going to get... I'll go after Shenlong before we finish this world. There's no, if I remember correctly, there is there is not a boss for the next dungeon. The only one that has a boss is literally the Dunatus Cave. And I'm supposed to go to Dunatus last, but I never could. I guess I had never thought about that until just now. I mean, the enemy difficulties is pretty close together for each of these areas here. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. The, the sorcerers were kind of crappy over there. But for some reason, I remember there being sorcerers in the volcano. But then again, I barely fought in there. Triple lunge turns into flash blow. This is all turned into. I never. I don't think I ever tried that one. Acid touch. Actually, there is a relic that does give you uh, walk walk on trap floors, but I don't know. I forgot if where the other trap floor area was in this game. An input acid rain. Hmm. I think it's magic based, so that wouldn't be too bad. Oh, that reminds me, before we go to the next area, there is no third town, so let's go ahead and go heal up real quick.
Alright, that should do it. Yeah, maybe the maybe this one you're supposed to go south, east, and north by the looks of it. Because I just saw the fact that you get a mithril sword from the volcano, and the, the equipment in the north is actually a lot more expensive. So maybe that is the case here. And just just because I feel like upgrading finally, let's go ahead and get people back up to in better shape here. So let's go with mithril sword. I have a spear. Nah, I'll go ahead and upgrade the spear to the, like that. The saber. Eh, the saber can stay. I'll stay for right now. Death sword, rocket launch, Nanto, or submachine gun, that's okay. Triple lunge, yeah, that's fine with her. I'll keep that just in case something tells me when I need it. Oh yeah, I want to use a chainsaw. That's right. That's right. I, wanted, I did want to use something. Get rid of that kick. Sacred Paratome only works on undead. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Uh... Okay, after I use a saber, I'll give him the chainsaw. I do kind of prefer playing this game when you have more people in your, in your team. Like, not more, I mean, like, four people who can equip regular items. The robot's nice, but, like I said, he's not, he doesn't level up, so it's kind of, I prefer, I prefer two humans, two mutants. I really do. It's probably my favorite way of playing. Or even three humans and one mutant, because then what I usually do is I'll make one, hu one other human into a magic user and just be able to customize their abilities using magic, magic books. Moon Rabbit. Pretty sure that's Arado, but we'll find out. Yeah, and the in the other game, uh, if you tried going in here, you could not advance, even if you knew exactly where to walk. It would not let you advance. What am I gonna do here? Uh... Oh yeah, I was checking the Glassman Rabbit. Uh, yeah, that's definitely for Arado. fight. Oh, never mind. There's enough people in fight. Let's see.
Yep. I just fast forward this. Raven with sleep. I kind of I'm going to miss the acid rain. Oh, I forgot that trap thing. Always forget that thing. Luckily, the damage from the bomb isn't that high. Excuse me, that's what upgrade is Evil Slice. There's another strength source, which I don't really need. One thing that, that the one thing that's plentiful in this game are strength-based weapons. They're very, very plentiful. Which is probably why I, I probably should have given my main character whips. Because at least the whip builds speed, but it's based on strength. the treasure chest. I admit this cave does look kind of cool compared to the other ones in this game. Giant's gloves. Let's see if anybody can use that. Yep, you can. Yeah, that sounds fine. Oh yeah, that's right, I can equip on, I can equip another thing on him now. It's a strange cast position for a bird. And we'll upgrade Flame to Blaze. We'll mix up the threads of fate a little bit. Nope, no, 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 no. Do hate ally friend. Yeah. You know. so we're not shared destiny right now, which is one of the ones I usually have. Six on here. Okay, I'm just kind of curious. Which way first? Looks like to the left. The right doesn't have anything at all, looks like. Oh, yeah, let me give the chainsaw to my main character like I wanted to. The chainsaw was glitched in the Final Fantasy Legend 1, well, Saga 1, and the glitch was that it was supposedly based on if the, 
if your strength is lower than the enemy's strength or something like that, it's automatic kill. They reversed it. If your strength is lower than the enemy's strength, it'll inst instant kill it, including bosses. Oh, great. I forgot to bring more blinds. Doesn't matter. Death. It'd be funny if... It'd be pretty funny uh, if... Blind would... You, you don't... You're not able to target anything. So that would make using the chainsaw very dangerous. We're almost done with this dungeon, I believe, so... I remember this one wasn't too long. Try to get a larger scale battle. Lightsaber. That's going right on the rope. It. Oh wait, hold on. He's got a good agility. Nineteen. Well, that's okay. Uh, Death sword's not really useful. I'll probably give it to my main character a little, little bit later on. I'm trying to use up use that mithril sword for a little while longer. Or, I mean, the green dragon blade for a little bit longer. Trying to get the enemies to group up a little bit. Oh well. Hmm, find out what that one should have been close enough. Great to Earth Slash. Okay, and the gold. There we go. I'm gonna get a nice large battle so I can. I can it's a little too large. Okay, who's in? Who's most not gonna die? Let's say them. Oh, then only one Durand all died out of all the whole thing. Oops. Hang on. 
one second, I actually hit the wrong button. There, my best mistake. Oh, it's 50 50 chance of who it's gonna go to. Okay, went the right people. And then, wait. Hellstaff. Oh, I guard it. This will be interesting using a chainsaw and a sword. And we're not gonna be able to see it. Checking first. That's the path out. So we'll go to the other one. Revenge blade, basically a, a counterattack as a sword. It's it's all right. I I forget if it, if I ever got to work on the Game Boy version. I really don't remember. I want to say I did, and it was actually pretty good. Okay, I think these should be the relics. Yep. Alright, this accidentally got turned into a, pre a, no a surprise attack. I'm gonna hit fast forward. It was not. Flame instead, and then sleep on the horses. Huh. Surprised that one. Only, only affected two of the trees. That, that was a waste. Alright, so who's gonna be... Okay, it's not so bad. Alright, fast forward, because it's gonna take a while. Alright, there we go. Chainsaw on a tree, just, just because I can. Oh wait, did he attack twice? Have a cool effect if the if the bird got to attack twice thanks to the beak the beak ability that'd be kind of cool. I could deal with that being an interesting thing. Glider claw. Yeah, it said he was in the list twice for some reason or another. There he's attacked again. What the heck? Let me check something here. Balance. Becoming capable of standing. Of course, the earthquake. I thought it would have had another effect where it could have attacked twice. Because that would have been kind of badass. Huh. Yeah. Oh, speaking of... Badass. I'm not gonna be very badass if I don't heal. Inseparables is the current.
why did you? No, I'm, just, I'm not gonna ask how I attacked that one. Any of all the ones that attack. Alright, let's try it. Let's check this out now. Okay, so the bird attacks. Okay, no, it didn't get the extra turn. It didn't get the extra turn that time. Hmm, strange. What's up with these imps? I can't seem to get one of the one of the cute girls in the game. Oh well. Bewitching insects. Oh, stealth. Basically lets you be able to run around enemies without having to worry about them, them following you. But it, it uses up your map ability things, which, which means you can't excavate or anything until... Well, you can't. You can excavate, you just you get one less use of it. Just because I, want, I, I so want to do the chainsaw to the, to the sword enemy, I just want to. I'm doing it. I don't care. I wanted to see if it works. It does work. That is funny. The chainsaw is the chainsaw is mightier than the sword. Oh, it actually guarded it at that time. Oh well. It guarded that one too. Let's see if it guards this one. Nope, couldn't guard that. Soul Claw. And there, Toitus. Let's drop hate off and get friend. I'm actually gonna do strife, then friend, then loner. Okay, let's go ahead and excavate. There's another chainsaw. Just think just just in case my first one runs out of gas. Alright, let's see about any quests that are left behind here, and we'll go ahead over to the next area. Huh, you got Cure also. Huh, how odd. Take it. Take a griffin. Alright. Oh, yeah, we have Shenlong the fight also. I don't think the chainsaw is going to work on him, though. <laughs> he is technically a boss, so. Before we leave here, let's check out. Lynn's town for a second. I want to say there's a quest that pops up. Once you get all the things. No, it didn't. Huh. Wonder when it pops up. I bet it's after the next area. The next world, I mean. Alright, 
Let's go drop off some of the stuff we got to the goddesses. Or, I mean, the, you know, the people. Uh, let's just bank the revenge blade for now. I'll mess with that later. Yeah, sell that gold nugget. Yeah, I need to... Yeah, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just drop off some stuff and pick up some of the other things they got here. Oh wait, foam TR I can't use yet because we don't have her yet. Foam TR is for the mermaid lady. Or muse, I mean. I am gonna kinda cheat here a little bit because I don't remember all my all my people exactly. Okay, what is up, Murado? Oitsu! Oitsu, guys. Okay, and I'm pretty sure... She, let me just go ahead and do a save state here. Alright, pretty sure she's pure oil. Nope, not the other things. Okay, let's go to the next one. Th Thalia. <sighs> Alright, I want to say... None of these, actually. I don't think it's any of those. Okay, I th I'm pretty sure that Melmane is the moon one. Pretty sure of it. Yep. I don't know if I have anything for Polly. Oh, Star Sand. Yeah, because no, sh that's that's that should be a no duh. Very short sure Star Sand with her. All right, let's. I want to say she's also the strawberry pin badge, but I'm not 100%. Let's see. Yep, it is. Never mind. Alright, so what's left? Last Moon Rabbit, that's for the... That's for Arado. Spring Bee's Pennant, I'm pretty sure, is for... For Calliope. Camilla Flower, Flower Fan. Yeah, that's Arado also. And the Silver Bell, Cho Silver Bell Choker... That's definitely for, um, that's uh, for, uh, what's her name? The Centaur Lady, I forgot her name already. Okay, so now we get Polly and Mel helping us. Repsira, that's her name. Very short silver bill choker. Okay, no, not, not neither of the two. Arado's garden.
All right, let's make sure. Okay, it's not that one. Not my first mistake, Camilla Firefan. I have a I have a very f weird feeling that this is for her also. Nope. Okay, never mind. All right, let's see if she'll give me help. Okay, so let's go visit. So that means the flower fan is probably the um, Thalia or the moon rabbit one. Wait, Moon Dwelling Rabbit. It's it's Melmanace. God darn it. Well, let's go visit Calliope first and give her the last one that I think is hers. hers and we'll be off out of this place. Yep. Uh, I didn't catch it before. I keep on forgetting that she's st that star and moon are there. Mm. Oh well. Alright, returning. My junk from my trunk. Probably rid of the fire tome just because I really don't need it. Because I already have a mutant and my main human is already a powerhouse strength based person, so it's kind of pointless to have another magic item. Right, so I'm going to glance get rid of. Thunder tome needed. That one. Gloves anymore. Nuggets. That yeah, should be good. I'll give her a high potion or two just because I don't really need that many. There we go. And we have a. Wow, there's a lot of money. So let's go ahead and upgrade some people here. Long Dream Dragon Blade. And keep the chainsaw. Can ditch that one too. I think that one's. I think the Mithril Sword's more powerful than it. place we'll throw in the lightsaber. Okay. Yeah, she's found a triple lunge. I like her with that. That should be good. Yeah, I have that bow I haven't used yet either. I haven't figured out what to do with it yet. Oh well. 
That's alright for right now. Off we go to fight Shenlong. Actually, I'll stop by the port town first and see if the mermaid's there. Or if I have to wait till the next chapter to get her. The answer is she is not here. Okay. I'm definitely going to do a save before I fight the dragon, because if I, if I mess up, I don't want to lose a chance of feeding the uh, creature I have. And that way I can just hit, hit the button to load the save, rather than have to go back all the way through it. Come fight, money wanted, item wanted. The yeah, item wanted, you get what's called the magical bash, which is shoes. Money, it's 10,000 or something, or it's 100,000, I forget. And come fight is literally fight them. Alright, his name actually is Dragon God, not Shenlong. I, I just want to try. Dragon versus Chainsaw. I'm pretty sure it's not going to work, but I just want to do it, just for the funny, just to see if it's funny or not. I doubt he's weak to sleep, but let's try it. Oh, yeah. Yep, he's immune to death. Okay. Yeah, I probably don't want to fight this one right now. Yep, I'm definitely gonna be. I'm gonna go ahead and bail out of this one. All right, well, it was worth a worth a look. Yeah, I forgot how strong he was. I could just get the magical bash shoes and continue on, but eh, I'll save him for a little bit later on. Now the next world actually isn't that long, and, and you don't have to really go visit Apollo, but if you do visit him, he, he kind of gives another, not a hint, but he just says, I knew you could do it, ha ha ha. I forget, let me just check and see what he says here. Oh, or did he just leave? Yeah, he's just, yeah, he up and left. Fair enough.
Damn it, let's hit the sky pillar. Poison Moth. Yeah, why not? About two hours, it's about the same time we've been through each of the other place, other areas. Oh, I forgot it doesn't actually put push me through automatically. Sure. So now it's level five. That's nice. Stock up on threads. We now have probably too many, and let's go ahead and take a small break here. I'm gonna take about a two minute break, and then I'll, I'll head on to the next world. Let me just go ahead and prep myself here. Okay, well, I, th I believe it's this one. Let's just quickly touch this door and make it see if it's the right one. All right, so we'll go ahead and stop here for a second. We'll take a small break, and I'll do next. I'll do part five, which will be, I think it's Guardians World. All right, I'll be back in a bit. Actually, due to my internet acting a little bit flaky right now, let's go ahead and call it for here. I don't want to have too many drop frames. It just apparently started kicking in. It's eight thirty. It's peak time. Alright, so, we'll, so I'll come back in a couple of days and we'll I'll continue this then. Alright, see y'all later.